Um, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, Michael would be absolutely buzzed that this is in the Rod Laver. And um, I uh, uh, chose a couple of songs today that meant a lot to me. And I know that Michael, uh, these were his favorites, basically. Um, this first one I played to him. I have a very vivid memory of being at uh, his, him and Sue's house in Port Douglas about three o'clock in the morning, both on deck chairs. And I play him this song, Castle on the Hill. It's like 2015, I think. And uh, he must have misheard the lyric wrong because he started from that point screaming at me whenever he saw me, we were younger then. And I never told him it was actually I was younger then, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> from now on it's we were younger then. Six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. Tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass. I rolled down with the younger then. Take me back to when I. So long. 
Um, I never get this nervous. I'm really fucking nervous. So apologies if I mess up any lyrics or anything. Um, so the first time I actually met Michael was in um, Melbourne, obviously. And um, I was playing a little rehearsal rooms and he popped down. He was my, uh, my manager, Stuart. He was his first boss um, at Infectious Records and gave him his first job. And uh, Stuart came in and he said, uh, Big Wig's turning up today. Michael Gudinski's going to come to your gig. You need to be impressive. And I remember first, uh, first meeting Michael and he was very proper and very professional. And hi, I'm Mr. Gudinski. And I was kind of like, wow, okay, big wig, big wig. And, uh, you know, uh, we did our first tour with him soon after that. And I quickly realized that uh, he was just a barrel of laughs. And I said it in my... Um, post on Instagram, he was just a tornado of joy and just everywhere he went, he just lifted the room and then fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, is <laughs> this, is the song, uh, this is the song that sort of kicked it all off for me and um, I know he loved it, he would always uh, call every team the A-team and um, yeah, it's the A-team. Lights gone, days end, struggling to pay rent, long nights, strange men. They say she's in class 18, stuck in her daydream, in this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries, and they scream. Worst things in life come free to us Cos she's just under the upper hand And goes mad for a couple grams And she don't wanna go outside tonight Cos in a pipe she'll fly to the motherland And settle up to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly For angels Close, rain cold. Try to swim and stay float. Try house with cold. Loose change, bank notes, and we be eye and dry throat. Cool girl, and no fun. And they say she's in class 18, stuck in her daydream in this way since 18. Sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries, and they scream. The worst things in life come free to us, but she's just under the upper hand and goes mad for a couple grams. But she don't want to go outside tonight, cause in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland and sell love to another man. It's too cold outside for eight. Now an angel died Covered in white With closed eyes And hoping for a better life And this time Now we'll fade out tonight Straight down the line Straight down the line Class 18, stuck in her daydream in this way since 18. But lately, the earth seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries. And they scream, the worst things in life come free to us, and we are all under the upper hand and go mad for a couple grams. And we don't wanna go outside. Tonight, cause in the pipe we'll fly to the motherland now we'll Set love to another man It's too cold outside for angels to fly For angels to fly
Um, so I'm extremely, extremely grateful to be here. I know it's a um, difficult thing to get into this country, and I don't take it for granted for uh, you know all the all the hard work of getting me here. And I really, really uh, yeah, just appreciate the opportunity to say goodbye. Um, in lockdown, I uh, was able to have a guitar for quarantine, and um, you know I always find the best way to uh, process stuff is to write songs, be it good news, bad news, or whatever. And uh, yeah, here's a song I finished last week. I wish that heaven had visiting hours So I could just show up And bring the news that she's getting older And I wish that you'd met her The things that you learned from me I got them all from Visiting hours And I would ask them If I could take you home But I know what they'd say That it's for the best Sorry. So I would live life the way you taught me Since you've been 